Here I'm going to show you one of my latest and best tools for battery repair. This is a 24 string battery displays and it displays the voltage of each individual cell at the same time. I don't think there's any other product like this. There is Batco, but that's just for 8 cells. This is for 24. It has most likely been developed for large do-it-yourself batteries for solar power. So you can constantly monitor each cell group to see if there's anyone uh, outside of the perimeter. It has support for both the ESD standards 2.0 and 2.54. So we can attach these ones, which has smaller ESD. And you can instantly see the voltage of all the cell groups. And it also controls the voltage difference between the cell groups. So you know that the battery status is good. There's no need for balancing and you get a full voltage and maximum and lowest voltage and number of strings so we can verify that all the wires are attached. This is just amazing and helps us in our work so much. All our battery repair staff has one of these now and we will also publish an affiliate link to where you can get this amazing tool. If you have a lot of batteries or constantly need to monitor how they are doing, this is excellent. And if you don't want to remove the GST from the BMS, you can just solder on another GST that you can constantly have into this. And I will also show you that it works fine with larger batteries and the larger GST. This is a 14 pin with the larger GST. And you need to push it all the way in so it have good contact. And we can see that all the cells are 4.09. There's just 0.004 in difference between the cells. Maximum voltage 53, 13 strings. It's just one of the best tools I ever discovered. We can really, really recommend this. Of course, it's not optimal if you have your batteries outdoors in a garage or something because it doesn't have any protection. It has spillage protection. Uh, and short circuit protection, but bugs will creep into here since it can get a little bit warm. So I suggest you maybe 3D print or tape together the corners so bugs will not have such an easy time in their new playing area. Because we had a lot of problems with inverters and stuff like that that bugs love to creep in and build eggs on the electronics because it's a little bit warmer. You do not want to have a house of spiders in here because it's fairly expensive, uh, but it's really good quality. And I don't know any other similar products except, except the Batco, but that just has support for um, eight strings. There's also an expansion board we have ordered that we're gonna see how useful it is. And it also has a 5 volt DC input if you want. And it usually comes in, in Mandarin, but if you hold this button for 10 seconds, it will change to English. And it also has an extra output here if you, for some reason, want to switch to uh, micro USB. It does not include that, it just includes the C type, and it also comes with a wire. All you need to add is uh, a 5 volt power source, and here you can also see it has UART, RX, and TX and maybe other features as well. It doesn't have Bluetooth or anything like that. And this one doesn't drain the battery like so many other displays that takes the power directly from the battery. This one you can leave on to a power source, a power bank or something, and it won't kill the battery. Excellent, simply excellent. Mm -hmm.